Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another Ultimate Driving video. My name is Carboom and today we're going to be testing out the brand new racing system in Ultimate Driving and stick around because I have my brand new Ultimate Driving code to give you some in-game cash. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're going to do is going to be getting our awesome, awesome car that I showed off in my last Ultimate Driving video. That is of course the brand new Lamborghini FFR in, well it's called the FFR in this game. So that's what I'll be calling it in this video as well. But we're just going to quickly grab that and we're going to head over to the new racing areas. Which these racing areas are the same, they're the circle areas that was added previously but they have had a revamp to fit the new racing aspect of ultimate driving so let's get this car and let's head over to the circle of course if you played ultimate driving for a little while now you'll know where pretty much all the circles are you can also tell on the map where the little square dots are even though they're circles in the actual game they're portrayed by square dots on the map so there's quite a bit of them dotted around the map so once you have found your circle uh, you press e and it's the UI is exactly the same and you want to select where you want to go which is a lot of places. So I'm just going to select Kensington down here and we're going to do a solo race just to test it out. We'll probably get some other people in this race as well later in the video. So it's exactly the same as you would normally race but the rewards fit just a little bit more in this new update of the racing aspect of ultimate driving. So I'm going to quickly complete this race and I'll show you exactly what rewards you get from just doing a fairly small race like this from Westover to Kensington. Alrighty guys, so there we go. There's obviously no one to race against so we did come first and I think about 40 seconds is a pretty good time. But we're going to view our rewards now. Alrighty guys, so the rewards are a bounty right at the top because I'm guessing these are practically illegal street races. So you're going to get bounty from doing this now. So if you don't really want to get bounty, wouldn't really do these anymore because you seem like you get a lot of bounty from just racing. 113, I believe that I can get you arrested. So that, it, this is a risky game to play now. We get one trophy, we get 795 XP. So that's really, really cool. If you want to get some XP based cars, this could be a really cool way to do it. And I'm not actually sure what the white one is at the bottom. I'll put it in the pinned comments below if I do find out what that is. And if you know what that is, leave it in the comments below and I'll pin your comment. Because I have no idea what that does and neither does Taboz actually, which he is... He's one of the pros in this game, so I'll have to ask one of the devs. Maybe they will, well, they will probably know. So I'll ask a dev and I'll put it in a pinned comment. Alrighty, so I'm just going to move on. Oh, wait, we actually move on to the Trophy Road um, Battle Pass sort of thing here where it shows you where, what you can win. You can win a ton of stuff in this Battle Pass this week. I don't think it's a week anymore. I think they've extended the time just a little bit. But you can get two common spins, a fancy black cowboy hat, a rare spin, a V3 robot, a three common spins, and this beautiful car right here. So now you don't only have to move to, to Victory Roads to do this. You can do it in the normal, normal races. So that is super, super cool. And now in the new Battle Pass racing area, you can go to Casual Races, Street Race, and I'm not actually sure what that does. It just brings up the map. Um, maybe they're going to add something to that in the future, but they are slowly adding more and more races to the Victory Road icon right here. And it's super, super awesome to see. And there's even, by the looks of things, a derby race coming soon. So you bet I'll be doing a video on that. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bells, because I'll be doing a video when that comes out. But I think I'm going to do one race with other people, see if we get any other rewards. I'm going to try and do this exact same route to see just to make it fair and if what are the differences between solo and duo or even three people we'll have to see how much people we get and then after that race guys i'll be giving out the code which will get you ten thousand in-game cash so you're gonna want to stick around to get that awesome awesome code all right guys so we have that person over there racing with us today he is in a truck so and i'm in a hypercar so i really don't expect him to win i expect us to come first i'm sort of expecting the same rewards and he just crashed already so i'm just gonna speed ahead get to first and see if we do get any re rewards different from single and player and multiplayer in this type of race because if you get the same amount of rewards 
um, that'll be super super awesome because you can just grind it out get some XP up for the battle pass and I have just crashed no he might actually win I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this but I'll, I'll meet you in a second whether I'm first or second we'll have to see alrighty guys so the last race I was doing I crashed and went into an ocean and no kidding I've been waiting here for about 20 minutes <laughs> waiting for somebody to race and we finally got somebody again not the fastest as cars but I am so happy this is oh my gosh I've been waiting there for so so long but hopefully we can compare see what the difference is that I hope there's a difference now I've been waiting this long but it's finally going we can finally do this race and I'm so so happy because these races are really fun and I am not able to control this car but these races are really really fun because there's so much customizations you can do with these races from different points different points in the map you can travel all over the map in these races it's sort of like an around the world race when you think of it and it's so so cool that they've added this in to the ultimate driving racing reward system but let's see what rewards we actually get here and I actually took a picture of my last reward, so I'm gonna compare them and see what we got in a difference. Okay, so doing it in a multiplayer compared to solo, we get about two times the amount of bounty. I'll, I'll put up a picture of what the solo rewards look like next to it. So you can tell we get almost double bounty, double trophies, about double XP, and the same of the white thing down below, which I still don't know but hopefully it'll be in the comments when this video is out so it looks like we do get more with multiplayer and i'm guessing you'll get more and more with more people because there's a less chance of you coming first and i'm guessing again if you come second you'll get a little bit less rewards but you can still grind it out in single player on your own which you can't actually do at, at victory road because you need two people to start every race there so this could be really really cool if you are on a VIP server or you're just grinding on your own. You can still grind up to get XP in the battle pass. So this is really cool that they've added this. Really cool they've done this but you still do get more rewards when you play with friends or other players in the server. So keep that in mind but you can now, there is a way to grind on your own. But now we are getting to a, a massive part of the video near the end and we are going to be revealing the car boom code. The second code of mine in the game my first one is obviously giving away the car boom skin which you don't know what that is it's called boom all capitals just like that you press redeem and once again i've already redeemed that but now we're gonna go over to car boom literally just car boom like that press redeem and you get 10 thousand cash car booms youtube code and you get ten thousand cash if you're starting out that will be absolutely huge maybe if you're um up where i am in the millions or even in the 100 thousands it may not seem like too much of a big thing but when you're starting out that is absolutely huge so thank you to the ultimate driving devs for giving me that code that is really really cool and i'm sure it'll help out a ton of people when they are starting out in this game so if you've got someone starting out or if you want to start out in ultimate driving now is the time to do so redeem my both my codes because yes because you get a cool skin and 10,000 to start off with so you can get a pretty cool car with that so guys i'm gonna end this video off here i hope you did enjoy and i hope it does help you out especially with the code and now you can grind up on your own if you want to with this new system to get get the battle pass items in victory road so guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you have subscribed turned on that notification bell so you don't miss a video or live stream by me and when the derby race comes out i'll be doing a video on that so you do not want to miss what is new with that video and smash that like button if you did like it because it helps the video out a bunch and it'll help a ton of people if it gets more out there because they'll be able to see the code and this awesome new system so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!